good morning. How are we doing? I made myself some fried apples, like some cinnamon sugar apples. I have two eggs and then three protein waffles. The protein that I used was Dimatized iOS. As some of y'all may or may not know, I do have a code with EHB Labs, but I've never tried their protein so i think that's going to be the next thing on the list that i try we do have a great day a productive day ahead of us like i said in my last video i don't know if y'all watched my last video but in my last video i said that i was going on a trip so today i need to run a bunch of errands in preparation for that trip i'm still not going to tell y'all where i'm going just yet i was actually going to try to do all of my preparation in one day but I was just like, there's no way that I'm gonna be able to prepare for this trip in one day. Mind you, this is my first time going out of the country. So that being said, there's a lot of things that I didn't realize that I needed. There's a lot of things that I didn't know. My brother-in-law, he works for the airport or he works at the airport. And he was just like filling me in on what I should do, filling me in on things that I need. He said, make sure you get an international charging port like a international plug i had no idea that other countries use different plugs after that conversation i realized there was a whole bunch of stuff that i needed to do in preparation for this trip so today is july 4th happy july 4th by the way but today is july 4th and my trip leaves sunday today's thursday yeah today's thursday I leave Sunday. So today we're gonna go to Target. I need to go to TJ Maxx and I also need to go to Sephora just to get a couple things for the plane, to get a couple things while I travel. And then tomorrow we are going to do a full maintenance day. A lot of y'all have asked me about my two strands. So we're gonna do my two strands tomorrow. I'm gonna get my nails and my toes done. There's just so much going on and I'm just so excited that I get to share with you guys. I'm sitting here trying to talk to y'all while I'm eating. And everything that I plan to talk about kind of just slipped my mind. So what we're going to do is eat first. And then maybe it'll come to my mind what I wanted to say. These protein waffles are actually really good. I think it's because of Dimatize. I tried to make them with Gainful and it didn't taste as good. I'm trying to make myself like a new screensaver. Currently it's everything I have I owe to God. And I just don't like how it sits on my screen. So I tried to make a new one like on Instagram on my story. So let's see if that looks better. Okay, so I actually really love how that looks. It looks 10 times better. TikTok is such a toxic app. It'll have you scrolling all day. Okay, so I'm done eating and I feel like now we can chat it up. Okay, so this is the current list. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I wrote down everything that I needed for the plane wrote down everything that I needed for travel, anything extra that I needed. I also wrote down like the itinerary for while I'm there, hotel information, flight information, anything that I may or may not need. I also like to point out that I put my hair back into a ponytail. If y'all have been following me for a minute, y'all know I don't like my hair up. One, I don't like anything like pulling at my head. I don't like anything pulling at my neck. I just don't like any strain on my scalp. And secondly, I've just come to the conclusion that I have a big head. But we are ready to go. I'm already dressed and ready to get our day started. I'm 110% forgetting that it's July 4th and everybody and their mama is out and about. 
So I was over there in like the little essential section getting stuff and I was going to chat it up with y'all but it's so many people over there and I was just like I'm not gonna do this right now and be a distraction and or have everybody walking in the video. So hopefully nobody wants any blankets today and we can just chat it up for a little bit so I can tell y'all what I got. I already needed some toothpaste for my apartment so I got like the big toothpaste and then I also got the travel one because I want to make sure that I have everything on the plane and then I also got two mouthwash I used to use this mouthwash all the time but I don't know why I stopped using it but we're gonna get back into it and then I also got some new toothbrushes I really just got these because of the color not because of any specific reason this is usually what I use when I wash my face, like the big bottles at home. So I'm gonna bring this on the plane just in case I wanna wash my face before the flight and or after the flight. I really didn't know that CeraVe had sunscreen and I wanna bring this onto the plane and I think I'm just gonna bring the sunscreen that I have already for while I'm away. And if I could recommend anything, I swear, by the CeraVe eye repair cream. I wish they had like a big bottle of it, but I think this is all they have. And I also didn't know that they had a toner. I usually use the ordinary toner, but we're just gonna try mm. the CeraVe one because I use all of their products anyways. I got some Clorox wipes. I actually got two of them because we got to stay clean on the plane. Also got some hand sanitizer. I got two of these too. I've never, ever, ever had a tie to go stick but I just feel like it's necessary. And then we also got some lotion. This is my body wash that I usually use at home. I'll go in with this one first and then I'll do like my shaving or whatever else I need to get done. And then I'll go in with the vanilla scented um, body wash. Definitely had to grab me some lip moisturizer i love moisturized lips i was gonna get the aquaphor i didn't know aquaphor didn't sell the medium sized canisters anymore so what i was gonna do was just get like the aquaphor that comes in the ones that look like this but i was just like i really like eos but yeah i always go in with like a lip ointment first and then i'll go over top of that with a lip gloss i've been trying so hard to find a good deodorant i feel like i'm allergic to deodorant in general i've never really been the type of person like smell or stink but i just have trouble with all deodorant that i put on and honestly i sometimes go without wearing deodorant because i just don't have that problem i used to use the ordinary toner on my underarms and that used to work fine but i don't know why i stopped i've been getting into the dove deodorant it's okay I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but I got the travel size one and I also got the big one. Time is definitely not on my favor right now. I was supposed to be in Greenville right now, but my sister literally just texted me and was like, sissy, when are you coming? Sissy, 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 I miss you. I think it's so cute that they're both teenagers. Like she's 18 and my other sister is 16. I think it's so cute that they still call me sissy. The reason why my day is all discombobulated is because my best friend had called me earlier and you know like when you're on the phone talking to one of your close friends you kind of just lose time but we're locked in we're focused i need to make sure i get all this stuff done and we were talking and just going i forgot my list so i'm probably gonna have to end up coming back out another day anyways just to get everything that i probably forgot because i know for sure i did not remember everything on that list Be able to like my grandmother's coffee. 
but hopefully y'all will be able to like hear what I'm talking about here what I got going on but yeah y'all the day just does not want me to be great I went into Ulta they did not have what I wanted in Ulta I low-key knew they weren't gonna have what I wanted I wanted the Fenty lip conditioner when I say the best moisturizer I've ever had in my life or ever used 110% the Fenty it like comes in a little cylinder and it twists up then y'all I went to TJ Maxx and they didn't have what I wanted I went in there for the philosophy vanilla travel size body gel I realized that they had the travel sizes when I went into Ulta and they had I guess like the original scent of the philosophy I think that's what it's called but they had the original scent of the philosophy but they didn't have the vanilla, which is what I use. Went in there for that, and then I also was trying to find like a notebook, was also trying to find a tea, and they didn't have nothing that I wanted. So I was like, dang, the day really doesn't want me to be great. Everybody's calling me, asking where I'm at. So maybe I should just go home. Maybe this is just my sign to go home, get my stuff, and get on the road. I really wanna go to the gym today. I do not want to miss a gym session today. The way the day is going currently, I don't know because I am driving back to Charlotte tonight so I can get up and do my hair. I also have a nail appointment tomorrow. So my mind right now, because nothing went how I wanted to go this morning, my mind is thinking to just make this like a two day vlog in preparation for the trip. And while I have been driving, your girl has just been thinking about so much. I've been driving for like 30 minutes now and i've been driving without any music just like thinking about so many things like the first thing i wanted to talk about is becoming more feminine i know there was a girl that was in my life and she was like i've seen your progression into your femininity and i would just love to hear more about that journey and once i can like articulate and kind of write down some things that helped me into my feminine journey but back to what I was saying about like being feminine and stuff like that. Um, once I can articulate and tell y'all how I went into my feminine journey or like how I've become more feminine, I'll definitely make like a video or maybe do like a series or something to kind of help y'all with that because this has definitely been a journey for me i'm not even gonna lie to y'all the way i spoke was very masculine the way i walked was very masculine but you also have to remember that i grew up as an athlete like out the womb my mom put me into athletics so that's kind of i would like to blame it on that and also the simple fact that i grew up around a ton of boy cousins the feminine journey is just something that you have to want to do first of all and something that you just have to be conscious about but i feel like once you step into it there's no going back and also you have to realize the people that are around you i personally try to watch people on social media or try to surround myself with people that are super feminine just to encourage me to be in that energy and also y'all sometimes who you're in a relationship with is what's making you masculine if you're wanting to be in that feminine energy your significant other has to make you feel that whoever you're with should give off such a masculine energy that it forces you into your feminine energy a real man a real whoever you want to be with is going to make you be in your feminine energy they're going to make you feel soft and feminine at all times and that's just like how I feel about it I've been around men I've been interested in men that genuinely make me feel feminine like I have no choice but to be in my feminine energy and then I've also been on the other side where it's like dang I have to make the decisions I have to be in my masculine energy I have to this I have to I, 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 I and I don't want to be that way I want to be not only a passenger princess in the car I want to be a passenger princess in life like baby take the lead you do what you gotta do and I'm just gonna sit pretty. So we just stopped at the gas station. We are about 20 minutes from our destination. When I say I'm so hungry, like I'm so hungry, there's like three different destinations that I'm probably going to rack up on food. But I'm so happy we were able to talk. Hopefully I was able to help somebody. If I did not help somebody, I did help myself, so. Gas is 3.45.
Oh my gosh, y'all. We're back home in the OG mirror. This is where it all started. Look at her. She looks so grown. Y'all, my bed used to be right here. I painted this. I built this little thing right here. This is so crazy. I like this song. You guys, I missed my girl. <laughs> Oof, child. Y'all, I am ready. Ready to get home. We're definitely not going to um, work out.
Hey, Smoke Fusion, you did it again. I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to hear me just because there's like a guy in the back. I think he's training somebody and they're talking, but it's a good thing that the music is off so that we can have like a little chit chat. So I do have some new goals in the gym. When I was talking in the car, I don't even know if I'm gonna put that part in this video, but if I put that part in the video, or if I don't, I'm just gonna reiterate what I said about just like, I was super sad and just like down. So now I'm in a headspace of just like, okay, I'm happy now, analyzing what I got going on. And I realized that I lost so much weight. Like I was so sad that I wasn't even eating. So now that I'm in a clear headspace, and I'm happy, I'm hungry, like your girl has been so hungry. And I think I wanna go on like a slight bulk. I don't wanna be super big, I don't wanna be huge or anything like that, but I definitely want to get to the healthier me, or like the me that I was before I got sad. So today we did hit back and a little bit of biceps. I'm not like a huge fan of working my biceps. I don't really like doing biceps, but I'm trying to make sure, I'm trying to get like my back to be how it was. Maybe work on like a little bit of chest. My traps are OD sometimes. I actually feel like I have a little like, what are those things called? Like, um, <sighs> Knots. I have knots in my neck and I really want to get those out before I start working my shoulders because I feel like if I don't get those out before I start working my shoulders these are just gonna grow huge and that's not something that I want and I know in the past I said I'm not an upper body girly but today I actually really really enjoyed the workout so I don't know maybe I'm turning into an upper body girly the time is currently 12 24 after I finish at the gym, well, I'm finished, but just waiting for him to get done. After we finish at the gym, I'm gonna head home and I have a nail appointment at 3.45. It takes about like an hour and 10 minutes to get home. What we're gonna do is just go to my nail appointment today and I'm gonna see how I feel 
after my nail appointment if I want to do my hair tonight. I feel like just hugging me out tonight so that tomorrow I can just spend all day editing would be perfect. I'm like super super hungry. I need to figure out what I'm eating. I don't know if I want to eat or like grab something and then eat it on the way. Because I know when I get home I'm not going to have time. I think I'm just going to like find something here and eat it on the way. I'm really just chatting at this point because I'm waiting for him to get down so that we can leave the gym. This looks so good, y'all. Especially after a good workout. I'm gonna have to eat it on the way though. The time is currently 1.46. It says I'll be back in Charlotte at three o'clock. My nail appointment is at 3.45. So we will make it so that we can fix these crusty, dusty nails.
there was 110% no way that your girl was gonna finish her hair last night. I started it though and we got to maybe like half of my head i would say like three fourths of my head and then it got to be two o'clock and i was like i'm not doing anything tomorrow so i could just finish it in the morning so here we are the next day finishing my hair and as promised i'm gonna show y'all how i do them i actually made them smaller well not smaller i made them shorter this time they're usually down to here but when i did these okay so this is 12 inches i think to say it at yes this is 12 inch hair i think the last hair i used was either 16 or 18 and they low key were about the same length as these maybe like an inch longer and i'm like dang my hair is getting so long because you really base it off just like how long your hair is because you add it to the bottom of it so that just means that my hair is getting longer because the 12 inch looks this long. This is expression, twist up, springy, afro twist, 12 inch and I get it in the shade 1B. I really should have left this side open because y'all might not be able to see like if I'm looking at the mirror, I'm gonna try to use the viewfinder right here. But um, I got two more left. Y'all, I've actually been using a lock gel for the longest time. I've been against lock gels. But I got this one for Christmas. And then about a month or two ago, I was like, let me just try this and see if I like this. Because I was only twisting my aloe vera gel. This is the African Pride Black Caster Miracle. I love this stuff high key. And it smells really good. So that's what we're gonna use today. Okay, so this is how the hair comes. They come individual and they're super curly. Hold on, there we go. They're super curly on the ends. We're just gonna take the first lock right here. Add some of the African product to it. This is how I retwist my hair. I take it, I twist it, and then once I twist it like that at the root, I get it as tight as possible, like this. And then all this extra stuff right here, I'll just take it and wrap it around the lock. So I'll push it with the, let me try to get close. I really don't know if y'all gonna be able to see this, but I just take it, push it around like this, take my thumb and loop it back around. I really hope y'all are able to see that. Also, if y'all hear something in the background, it's gonna be my air. Usually I turn the air off when I make vlogs or when I'm talking, but I don't feel like doing it right now. Plus it's hot. But I do the same thing to this one, twist it, wrap the hair around, and then, I'll take the two locks and you two strand them down. If you don't know how to two strand, you just like, okay. So you'll twist, you're supposed to twist your locks to the right. When you two strand, you twist them to the right, but cross them to the left. Twisting to the right, but crossing to the left. Twisting to the right, but crossing to the left. And you just do that all the way down. And once I get to about right here, I'll take one of my little twisties, make sure the ends are matched up and put it under. You put it in the lock like that. And you just twist it down. And you keep twisting and crossing, twisting and crossing. Twisting and crossing, twisting and crossing. And then once I get to about right here where I feel like I should add another piece, I put it in. And we're gonna twist and cross. We got this lock. Twist it at the root. And once it's twisted, come to the end, twist it like that, 
And then you want to take all this extra stuff right here and I just push it around the lock all the way down to get all the flyaways. You twist right but cross left. Piece. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is put some mousse on our hair and then we're also going to lay our edges i really want to dip this hair if y'all know anything about like braiding hair and stuff like that you know when you dip the hair it gets looser just because you know it's looking a tad bit stiff to me but never have i ever dipped this curly hair and i'm so afraid that if i dip it it's gonna straighten never have i ever used my face steamer to steam out my locks so we're gonna see or like my braiding styles so we're gonna see how this goes. Although I feel, I do low key feel like I could dip this hair though. What I probably should do is do like a test on one of the pieces that I didn't use. Let's do that. Cause I feel like this is just counterproductive to do this like this. I really hope this doesn't mess up the curls. Okay, we can do the whole head. I think one came out in the back. This one right here. This is the finished product. Feeling great, feeling fantastic. Nails done, toes done, hair done. Only thing left I gotta do for the trip is pack. Oh, let me show y'all. I got like three different packages for the trip and I'm gonna open them with y'all so y'all know what I got. First thing I got was a neck pillow. I wish I could take this out of here. I don't wanna take it out of here cause I might not be able to get it back into the little thing that I came into. But I low-key wanna see it, so we're just gonna take it out anyways. This is how it came. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. Let me see. Hold on, I just did my hair. And then I think this, I like this. These are the international charging ports. Like I said earlier, I didn't know that they had different plugs in us. So this came in a pack of two. guys look at it i got me a passport cover it kind of looked a little brownish on amazon 
but I'm happy it came as like this gray color with the black um, lettering. I was gonna get black, but I was like, eh, I don't think I wanna do an all black one. I kinda wanna add some color to it. And I'm really happy that I got this one. This is so cute. I know my air is pumping real loud in the background and I'm so sorry. <laughs> So I got a pack of like these small little bags so that I can put my one plane toiletries in here. So I came with this one. And then the next size down from that is this. It kind of resembles a pencil case. And then after that is this one. I feel like you could put like makeup brushes or something in it. I'm not gonna put makeup brushes in it. I'm gonna figure out what I'm putting in it. But this is how it's looking. I forgot I ordered a sleep mask. One thing I can't stand is feeling like people are watching me on the plane. And I low-key hockey feel like I be sleeping with my eyes open. <laughs> And I don't want anybody staring at me while I sleep with my eyes open. So I got me a little neck pillow with a face mask. I guess this is the carrier that it goes in, which would be perfect because I could just attach it to my neck pillow. This is so cute. I think the material is cotton. That's what I want to say I ordered just so that it would be super soft on my face. I'm going to get it close so you can kind of sort of see the material of it this is the part that's going to be on my face and this is the outside part it's super soft and it has this adjustable lever on it this is the finished product they look so good i'm so happy i dipped them this time because they're falling a lot flat than the last time that i did them these are done i hope it was helpful i don't know if y'all were able to see what i was doing but I remember I promised y'all that I would give y'all a tutorial of how I did them. Y'all have the hair. I tried to explain it so hopefully y'all can figure it out. Only thing left that I have to do is to pack. I'm pretty much ready other than that. What time is it? I think it's like 2 o'clock. So I do have the rest of the day to kind of just chill a little bit. I might edit this video and then... Um, just have like tomorrow before I leave. So I'm so happy that I was able to get majority of the stuff done. I think what I do want to do is start packing tonight just in case I need to grab something early in the morning tomorrow. But I do appreciate y'all for spending these couple of chaotic days with me. I really anticipated to fit everything in one day. But like I said in my last video, everything lifetime has just been moving so fast. It's like you wake up at seven o'clock in the morning and next thing you know, it's 12 in the afternoon. But I love y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much and I'll see y'all in the next video.